baseball in America means baseball on WGN America. Cubs, D-backs, 2 East, 11 West on WGN America. You're watching WGN Midday News. There's a big party going on right now at Wrigley Field to celebrate the ballpark's 100th birthday and rich history. Good afternoon. I'm Steve Sanders. And I'm Nancy Liu. In for Dina Bear, we welcome our viewers who are watching us around the country on WGN America and on the web. Julian Cruz is at Wrigley this midday with more on the park's centennial. Hi, Julian. Hello, Nancy. As you can imagine, just tremendous excitement here at Wiegum Field. Of course, that's what it was known as a hundred years ago when it opened up. The Chicago Federals played the KC Packers. So the Cubs will be wearing the throwback Chicago Federals uniforms and the Diamondbacks will wear the KC Packers uniform. What can you say about a ball field that has hosted Babe Ruth in 1932, the famous called shot? Al Capone, a famous Chicagoan, and of course, infamous mobster, had front row seats to the, those games in those days in the 1930s. And of course, uh, the 1945 World Series versus the Tigers, where the Billy, Joe, Billy Goat was ejected from the ballpark. And of course, uh, that's where the curse, the legendary curse, comes from. Wrigley Field has, of course, been a star in Hollywood. Ferris Bueller's Day Off showcased the venerable ball field, the ivy covered outfield walls and manually operated scoreboard circa 1937 but Wrigley Field has hosted more than just baseball games there have been circuses here rodeos pro hockey games a 1944 ski jumping contest of course rock concerts and you don't want to leave out the Chicago Bears the Bears having a great deal of success in the decades that they were here at Wrigley Field and all-time great Dick Butkus here talking to reporters and talking about his memories of Wrigley Field. The Cubs great Billy Williams talked about his favorite moments playing in what he considered the golden age of baseball. Players like Sandy Koufax, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, and Billy talked very fondly about his memories of saving a uh, no-hitter. This was Milt Pappas's no-hit bid, and I think we have a soundbite queued up for you to listen to. This is Billy Williams. So many things have been said about, uh, you know, several guys that pitched no hitters here. And I remember one, a lot of people remember the uh, Kenny Holtzman no hitter. And of course, that's when Aaron hit the ball to left field and I, the ball came back in the ballpark because the wind was blowing in. And I wind up catching the ball. So many of the Cub greats here to talk to people and remember the moments that they had on this legendary ball field. Once again, uh, this game set to get underway here. It's about 1.30 this afternoon. There'll be a lot of festivities to start the game. And Nancy and Steve, people just very excited. Maybe not so excited about the ball club and its performance, but excited to be in this historic place on the 100th birthday of Wrigley Field. Back to you in the studio. Enjoy the party, Julian. Uh, Julian mentioned uh, some of those fun facts. A hundred years of them are wrapped up at Wrigley Field. It was the first stadium to have a permanent concession stand and the first place where fans were allowed to keep foul balls. Rooftop decks, which have gotten a lot of publicity in recent years, have only been around since the 80s. And with Wrigley renovations still in the works, this is not the first time the ballpark has undergone changes. Literally from the opening weekend that the park was here, they had to move the left field fence back because it was too short. So literally from the very start, the park's been retrofitted and fixed up and jimmied around. I mean, in 1923, they actually split the park into three pieces and they put it on rollers and they moved it about 60 feet. Huh. Wrigley Field is the second oldest ballpark in Major League uh, Baseball. Cubs fans are proud and excited to be a part of this special milestone. That includes WGN's Amy Rutledge. She's also at Wrigley today. Hi, Amy. Yeah, hi, Nancy. It's uh, definitely a different atmosphere out here today than past Cubs games. Lots of people out here. They opened the gates probably about a half an hour ago, and you still can't see the end of the line down Clark uh, between Addison and Waveland here. People are still filing in to the ballpark. We've got this huge cake out here right next to the statue of Ernie Banks. People have been coming by and getting their picture taken with. Uh, exciting day for many of these fans who all have their own history here at this ballpark. My first game from 1990 when I was five years old. Seven bucks for a terrace box seat, not anymore. Yeah, no kidding. This is from the playoffs in 07. 
This is from when Derek Lee hit the pinch hit grand slam against the White Sox. If you're a Cub fan, you are a Cub fan, win, lose, or draw. And just like uh, Harry Carey said that time in 84 when the ball went through Leon Durham's legs, he said uh, they wouldn't be the Cubs if they, they wouldn't be the Cubs if they didn't break your heart. Yeah. To be at a ballpark where my whole family's been going here for generations, from my grandfather down to my children now, I just love it, man. I love being here, and, and if anyone deserves a good birthday party, it's Wrigley Field. Yeah, lots of memories. Pretty much everyone we spoke to have some sort of a memory from their childhood here at this ballpark. Here's a look at that giant cake next to Ernie Banks' statue. That's going to be given out in the seventh inning. They actually had to move it underneath the tarp because it started to melt. Cupcakes were given out this morning to the first 10,000 people who walk in the gates, as well as some shy fed jerseys. The big ceremony will start here in just about 25 minutes. Lots of music and dignitaries, former players, Cubs and Bears, Gail Sayer, Ernie Banks, Dick Buckus, Andre Dawson, Ryan Dempster, that's just to name a few. A woman named Sue Quigg will actually be throwing out the first pitch. She is the grandniece of Charlie Wiegman, the man who built this ballpark back in 1914. And the ball she'll be using to throw out that first pitch is actually a ball that is 98 years old that her family has held on to for all those years. Now, if you tune into WGN later on this afternoon to watch that game, you may do a little bit of a double take. That's because the Chicago Cubs are going to be wearing jerseys from the Shy Feds. The first team that played here at the ballpark and the Arizona Diamondbacks will be wearing the uniforms of the Kansas City Packers who were their opponent opponent team back in 1914. So a big day with a lot of history for a lot of fans out here at Wrigley Field. Reporting live from Wrigley, Amy Rutledge, WGN News. Steve and Nancy, back to you. Thanks so much, Amy. You can watch the 100th anniversary celebrations at Wrigley Field right here on WGN. Special coverage begins at 12.30 today. The game against the Diamondbacks starts at 1.20. The driver of a minivan was killed early this morning in a collision with a CTA bus on the south side. Two passengers in the van are hospitalized in critical condition. There were no passengers on the bus. The bus driver was also taken to a hospital in serious condition. The crash happened about 12.45 at the intersection of 93rd Street, South Chicago. Chicago and Commercial Avenues. Police say the bus was nearly through the intersection with the driver of the van going east on 93rd ran into it. It appears Illinois' temporary income tax hike will be just that temporary. With a month left in the General Assembly spring session, House Speaker Mike Madigan is conceding he does not have the votes to extend the one and a quarter percent income tax surcharge beyond January 1st. And there's not enough support to boost the minimum wage to $10 or more, let alone the $15 that some fast food workers are demanding. Yesterday, Madigan was re-elected chairman of the Illinois Democratic Party. The Chicago Board of Education meets today to consider turning three academically troubled schools over to a private operator. The schools are Dvorak Technology Academy in the North Lawndale neighborhood, Gresham Elementary in the Auburn-Gresham neighborhood, and McNair Elementary in Austin. If approved, these schools would be handed over to the Academy for Urban School Leadership, which the school board president once chaired. That private operator runs 29 district schools. Northwestern football players will vote this Friday on whether to approve a union. Coach Pat Fitzgerald has encouraged his players to vote no. 76 players are eligible to vote on Friday. They are not required to, and it's unknown how many will actually cast a ballot. A simple majority is needed to approve the union. Coming up next, a cold case solved. Investigators identify the body of a 1978 murder victim, and they believe they know who killed him. Also ahead, the death toll is rising as divers find more victims in the South Korean ferry accident. And later, she went missing seven years ago. Now police think there may be six more cases connected to Madeline McCann's mysterious disappearance. This is Megan. This is Megan's Gym. For those who believe serious exercise doesn't have to feel so serious. One a day women's Vita Craves with key nutrients like calcium and vitamin D. All the fun of a gummy that's a complete multivitamin.
Hi, everybody. It's Pat Hughes. Wrigley Field is one of the most recognizable landmarks in America and is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. Louisville Slugger, the official bat of Major League Baseball, is commemorating this milestone with the laser-engraved two-tone 34-inch full-size bat. It's lasered with the Wrigley Field 100th anniversary logo and historic ballpark facts. This bat sells for $129.95 and is limited to 5,000 individually numbered units. Call Big Time Bats now at 1-866-280-BATS. Remember your first color bomb? Tasty. Candy Crush Saga. Download now for free. If you're a homeowner who's faithfully made your mortgage payments, you deserve thanks for doing the right thing. Better yet, you deserve a heart mortgage from Quicken Loans that rewards your commitment. Here's how. The Home Affordable Refinance Program, or HARP, is designed to help you take advantage of today's low interest rates and lower your mortgage payments. It's for homeowners who are current on their mortgage payments, but due to the housing market, have little or no equity left in their home. What's more, even if you were unable to get a HARP loan in the past, new guidelines mean that now you may be eligible. More than 2.5 million homeowners have already taken advantage of HARP and are saving an average of $250 a month. The rate today on a 30-year fixed mortgage is 4.375%, APR 4.68%. Saving money with a HARP loan couldn't be easier. Just call Quicken Loans today or go to quickenloans.com. Quicken Loans for a mortgage experience that's engineered to amaze. This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Investigators have finally identified the body of a 1978 murder victim, and they believe they know who killed him. The cold case was solved as part of the ongoing effort to identify more victims of a notorious serial killer. WGN's Tanya Francisco, live at the Cook County Sheriff's Headquarters in Maywood. Tanya. Nancy, Steve, that notorious killer, of course, being John Wayne Gacy. The 1978 victim now identified as 22-year-old Edward Bodian of Chicago. Now, sheriff's police say John Wayne Gacy did not kill Edward Bodian. Instead, it was a small-town crook out of Missouri. Edward Bodian's sister says that's no surprise to her. She never thought that Gacy killed her brother. But because of his age, the time of his disappearance, that Gacy was killing young men at that time around his Norwood Park home, and the fact that they lived not too far from there, she always had a question in her mind. 22-year-old Edward Bodian disappeared in July of 1978 after he dropped off a friend after a wedding. Three weeks later, police in Carothersville, Missouri, arrested Jerry Jackson, a small-town crook, when he was found driving the car that Bodian was last seen in. Jackson told Chicago police he met Bodian in downtown Chicago and had punched him in the face after an altercation, knocking him out. He says he dumped Bodian's body in a wooded area in Lamont, but a search of that area never turned up the body, so Jerry Jackson was never charged with his murder. Years later in 2008, hikers discovered partial skeletal remains in Lamont, but the remains were never tested. Instead, they sat on a closet shelf at the Cook County morgue. In 2011, Sheriff Dart began testing DNA of Gacy's eight unidentified victims and requested families display or send in samples, DNA samples, for comparison. Eventually, those remains that had sat on the Cook County morgue shelf were included in the testing, and here we are today. A positive match has been made, giving closure to Edward Bodian's family. My mom went to her grave in 2001 not knowing where my brother was, and she always felt, and I did too, that maybe one day he would come home, but not this way. But my dad, he will now be able to know where my brother was. And when he dies, we're going to take my brother's remains because we're going to have him cremated and bury them with my dad so they can be next to my mom. This is one of the cases that we've been trying to express to people reinforces why it is so imperative that people who have loved ones that are missing, no matter how long ago it is, it's imperative you put your DNA into the database. It's imperative. 
Jerry Jackson died last year of natural causes at age 62, so he never faced charges for Edward Bodian's murder, only for stealing a car. He spent four years in prison for that. As for Sheriff Dart, he says this case emphasizes, as you heard, why people and families should submit DNA samples. He said now he set out setting, looking for the identities of eight of Gacy's unidentified victims. He's only identified one, but he says it has led to the closure of several other cases, three missing person cases that have been closed and actually finding five others alive. So he says this is definitely a worthwhile investigation. I'm live in Maywood at the Cook County Sheriff's Department office. Tanya Francisco, WGN News. Tanya, thank you. Next, Australian officials examine what they're calling an object of interest that could be part of that missing Malaysian jetliner. And still to come this midday, her disappearance baffled the world in 2007. Now police in the UK think the Madeleine McCann case may have a connection to six others. You don't belong here. Neither do you. Get out of Salem or you will hang. She's just a girl. They are all our enemy. Witches are real, and they are here in Salem. Salem, all new, Sunday at 10, 9 central on WGN America. Dad is not a couch potato, not a stay-at-home kind of guy. So when he fell last month, I looked for personal alert systems but most of them only work on a landline within 30 feet of the receiver. That was like putting a ball and chain on his ankle. I couldn't ask him to stay in the house all the time. He's my dad. So I kept looking, and I found this new system, AT&T Everthere. It's wireless. Works almost everywhere. If Dad feels funny, he pushes one button. If he falls, it has automatic fall detection, and the AT&T Care Center calls to see if he's okay. If he's okay, we all relax. If he's not, it has a built-in GPS, and help is on the way. I can't tell you how much better that makes me feel. Only $29.99 a month, plus device cost and activation. Get AT&T ever there, and feel better about being almost everywhere. Dad is not going to sit still for anybody, and that's okay with me. Call 855-209-5682. Attention drivers of GM cars. General Motors recalled nearly 2.6 million vehicles due to faulty ignition switches that led to serious crashes and deaths. The defective ignition switches cause vehicles to lose power, disabling airbags, power steering, and other functions. If you were injured or if a loved one died because of a GM recalled vehicle, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call 800-519-4900 for a free evaluation of your claim. South Korea's Coast Guard has increased the death toll from a sunken ferry to 157. That leaves 145 mostly students still missing. Divers have found no air pockets in the third and fourth decks of the ship, all but eliminating hopes that survivors might still be found. But authorities uh, still call the operation a search and rescue and point out there are still many cabins yet to be searched. Reports indicate a student called emergency services on his cell phone three minutes before the crew sent out a distress signal. A damaged chunk of sheet metal with rivets has washed up on the western coast of Australia, but officials are not sure yet whether it came from Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. As the object of interest found south of Perth is examined, the search of the ocean wraps up its 47th day. An underwater sonar drone has now scanned 80% of the search area with no sign of the missing Boeing 777. Stormy weather suspended the air search for a second day. Police investigating the disappearance of Madeline McCann say six new cases have come to light. The three-year-old was last seen in 2007 while on vacation with her family in Portugal. After appealing to the public for help, investigators are working on more cases. They all involve a male intruder targeting children in the same region around the same time period. Five of those children were sexually assaulted. Police believe the suspect may be linked to as many as 18 cases. 
Hamas and Fatah have begun talks to form an interim unity government. The, pal the rival Palestinian faction split violently in 2007. This comes when the current round of peace talks between the Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, and Israel are set to expire next week without an agreement. Ukraine's acting president calls on law enforcement to renew anti-terror measures in response to two murders in the growing conflict between Ukraine and Russia. One of the victims was a local lawmaker and a member of the president's political party. The government says that lawmaker was abducted, tortured, and drowned. It claims Russian forces are supporting these crimes. Meantime, the first wave of U.S. soldiers will begin arriving today in Eastern Europe to take part in military exercises. 150 service members will touch down in Poland today. About 450 more will arrive in Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania by Monday. Coming up next, Tom Skilling has your full forecast. This is Jim, a man who doesn't stand still. But Jim has AFib, atrial fibrillation, and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. That puts Jim at a greater risk of stroke. For years, Jim's medicine tied him to a monthly trip to the clinic to get his blood tested. But now, with once a day Zarelto, Jim's on the move. Jim's doctor recommended Zarelto. Like warfarin, Zarelto is proven effective to reduce AFib-related stroke risk. But Zarelto is the first and only once-a-day prescription blood thinner for patients with AFib not caused by a heart valve problem that doesn't require routine blood monitoring. So Jim's not tied to that monitoring routine. Proceed to the designated route. Uh, today. For patients currently well-managed on warfarin, there is limited information on how Zarelto and warfarin compare in reducing the risk of stroke. Zarelto is just one pill a day taken with the evening meal. Plus, with no known dietary restrictions, Jim can eat the healthy foods he likes. Do not stop taking Zarelto Reveroxaban without talking to the doctor who prescribes it, as this may increase the risk of having a stroke. Get help right away if you develop any symptoms like bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling. You may have a higher risk of bleeding if you take Zarelto with aspirin products, NSAIDs, or blood thinners. Talk to your doctor before taking Zarelto if you have abnormal bleeding. Zarelto can cause bleeding, which can be serious and rarely may lead to death. You are likely to bruise more easily on Zarelto, and it may take longer for bleeding to stop. Tell your doctors you are taking Zarelto before any planned medical or dental procedures. Before starting Zarelto, tell your doctor about any conditions, such as kidney, liver, or bleeding problems. Zarelto is not for patients with artificial heart valves. Jim changed his routine. Ask your doctor about Zarelto. Once a day, Zarelto means no regular blood monitoring, no known dietary restrictions. For more information and savings options, call 1-888-ZARELTO or visit GoZarelto.com. There's a big birthday party at Wrigley there today. There sure is. You I know. party weather. Hey, it's it's very nice. It's a little cool, <laughs> to say the least, really? but the sun is out. It's lovely out there. And when you see what we have coming in the days ahead, particularly later in the weekend, we're doing pretty well by all accounts this afternoon. We'll tell you more about that in a moment. You know, yesterday was Earth Day, and Stacy Vitalo spent part of her Earth Day out at Millennium Park, sent this beautiful shot along. And check out this shot of our skyline taken from the Washington Park Zoo. They have an observation tower there in Michigan City, Indiana, and that's where Pat Landers uh, took this shot uh, of the city from the distance. And uh, do you know there's a new stamp commemorating Earth Day put out by NOAA, and uh, here it is right here. What It includes a, a picture from uh, a computer model of the climate showing ocean temperatures right there, but I thought that was kind of cool to be coming to a U.S. Postal Service office near you. That, uh, that image is from a geo physical fluid dynamics lab uh, they're the folks who do the modeling uh, out in Princeton University computer model well what a gorgeous day this is little wisps of high clouds indicating that we do have a weather system out to our west and boy there are some interesting developments expected uh, later in the weekend and well into next week a very wet pattern this drought on US tornadoes unfortunately may be coming to an end south of us we'll talk more about that here's the first uh, storm though this thing rides in with some showers tomorrow 
in what has been a cool spring since March 1. Meteorological springs produce 60% of its days with below normal temperatures, and we've only had about 60% of our normal rain, which makes this the driest spring in 17 years. Well, if our forecasts work out, that's about to change in the next week, but it won't today. Uh, we have a 47 degree temperature uh, here in Chicago. It's 50 at Des Moines, but look at the warmth out west. That's headed this way before the temps tank this weekend and going into next week. So we have some nice spring-like weather on the way. We're about six degrees cooler than we were 24 hours ago. And uh, this windy, wet storm is generating computer model rain forecasts that approach two inches. The spread among all of them that we've averaged to come up with that two-inch number is from as little as four-tenths of an inch to as much as 4.88 inches of rain. So this is a big deal. Those are huge numbers, and uh, we'll show it to you in just a moment. 40s going this afternoon. Not a drop of rain within hundreds of miles of us right now. At uh, Wrigleyville, it's 42 right now. At the friendly confines, the winds are blowing in uh, at about 7 miles per hour, and it feels like it's 38 degrees out there, so it's pretty chilly uh, as we come to you at 12 noon. But uh, the big story will be the changing weather in the next couple of days. And uh, here you can see the radar plot of these rains out to the west of us. Now, they've cleared the Rockies, but they're moving into areas of Iowa. And you'll see how one little band of showers comes through here tonight as this Canadian high pressure gives way. But the main front is out west of us, and so the showers will pick up tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then once they blow by, uh, we'll get Pacific air, which is still mild, and it'll be windy and near 70 degrees with lots of sunshine on Friday. The next storm then begins taking shape out west, but its rains won't be here till Sunday. So here's a closer look at these little showers that uh, flirt with the area tonight and how the showers develop out to the west. Might get one or two ahead of the main event, which comes in later tomorrow and tomorrow night. And then there's the backside of that system with its sunshine and mild temperatures. We're getting some pretty respectable rains off this first little wave of rain, but the main event comes, as we say, later in the weekend. There is a lot of wind blowing across across this country today. There are red flag warnings out east. These are all wind advisories. These are red flag warnings which are put up when there's the fear wildfires might be set uh, and uh, would spread in the wind regime. And also wind advisories on the west coast right now. Weather patterns which uh, are, represent a change in the weather often are windy ones. 50s are forecast today, but see the warmth out to the west and watch as we advance our forecast into uh, tomorrow how temperatures go well into the 60s. And and uh, flirt with uh, 70 degrees on Friday. Look how widespread that warm air is. But the cool air collapses down on us over the weekend. And that's when things get a little bit chilly around here. Here's a little closer look at these temperatures this afternoon. You see the 50s out to the west of us. A uh, little bit cooler at the lakefront. We've got easterly winds blowing. So, for instance, at Wrigley Field, probably upper 40s today. Look at this forecast, though, as we move into the future. Big buckle in the jet stream is to bring those showers tomorrow. But but then we get a blocking pattern that uh, traps us in that uh, rain and thunderstorm regime amid howling northeast winds and unseasonably cool temperatures. That all starts to happen later in Sunday. Well, sun yields to a steady increase in cloudiness uh, this afternoon. Uh, th that sunshine extinguishing cloud cover will form a pretty good overcast by evening. High of 55. East winds at 4 to 12, but no daytime rain. It looks uh, beautiful out at Wrigley. Cloudy, cool. Several showers develop tonight. Low temperature 43. East to southeast winds will start picking up by morning and tomorrow cloudy periods and windy. It starts cool in the morning because the winds are coming off the lake but in the afternoon the winds go south southwest away from the water so that's when temps take off up to 68 and partly sunny windy and mild Friday with a high of 70. Our seven day forecast shows that's a temporary state of affairs because Saturday while sunny will only be at 53 with wind strengthening off the lake during the day and then the clouds come in and we've got got rain forecast on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Ish. I mean, it, it just looks bad. But great today. Good. Will the sun we'll last through the Cubs game? Oh, yeah. Great. Absolutely. It'll be a little cloudiness, but okay. who's, who's paying attention, yeah. you know? Love Thanks, Joe. So. See you guys. Thank you, All right. You bet, Nancy. That is it. Thanks so much for joining us today. <laughs> Have a great afternoon. Special coverage of Wrigley Field's 100th anniversary is next. Jim's hair is perfect.
So is his serve and his mandarin. But like up to 90% of Americans, Jim falls short in getting important nutrients from food alone, making Jim more like us. Add one-a-day multivitamins, rich in key nutrients you may need. I have back pain. I have disc problems. Back pain doesn't have to limit your life. Get the DDS 500 with no out-of-pocket costs to you with Medicare and other major insurance. The only patented back support that provides adjustable traction. The DDS 500 easily adjusts to your comfort level and fits discreetly under clothes. Call Allied Home Medical at 1-800-230-6099. We don't want to miss any of this. <laughs> This is where we do that bundling thing. Let's see what you got. RV, covered. Why would you pay for a hotel? I never do. Motorcycles, check. ATV. I ride those. Do you? No. Boat. Oh, I'm 80s. House. Hello, dear. Hello. Hello. Fan with airbrushed fire breathing dragons. Huh, check. The more you bundle, the more you save. Now that's progressive. When you're tossing and turning and can't sleep an ounce, wash in Sweet Dreams with Tide, Downy, and Bounce. The Sweet Dreams collection has scents so relaxing so you can tuck in and turn off after a day oh so taxing. Cubs D-backs to East 11 West on WGN America. On rules of engagement, comedy rules. Is there smoking allowed in here? Is someone smoking? You are. <laughs> rules of engagement. Tonight at 8 on WGN America. Next, let WGN take you inside the friendly confines as Ernie Banks, Billy Williams, Mike Ditka, and some very special guests help celebrate Wrigley's official 100th birthday. Live from Wrigley Field, here's Dan Rohn. Welcome to the party on the north side today. That is not Wrigley Field. That is a Wrigley Field cake on display for everybody to take a look at today. I'm sure that uh, some people will be getting a piece of that before the day is done. And now a look inside the ballpark. A beautiful day for baseball and a great day for a party as Wrigley turns 100. And for all of us here at WGN, welcome to Wrigley Field for the 100th birthday party celebration of this venerable old ballpark that has uh, held events of every kind you can imagine, from hockey to soccer to rodeo to concerts and everything else. But mostly it's been the home of the Chicago Cubs for all these years. And we have uh, with us Ed Hardig, the Cubs historian, to talk a little bit about today. Ed, I don't know if you ever thought 100 would get here, but here it is. It, it doesn't happen very often. It's only the second ballpark to reach 100 years, and the next ballpark would be Dodger Stadium in the year 2062. So this is a pretty <laughs> rare event. I think the amazing part of it, and I talked to some other people about this earlier this morning, is the fact that it really, uh, outside of having the upper deck put on, hasn't really changed all that much over the years. Well, it, it originally opened with only 14 thousand people sat here uh, the, the bleachers that we know today the scoreboard that we know today uh, those weren't built until 1937 the Cubs did a major renovation where they rebuilt the outfield area they built the scoreboard they planted the ivy I thought one of the uh, interesting facts about the first game played here uh, back in 1914 was the fact that on the following day because there were so many home runs hit they had moved the fence back again to try and make it easier for the pitchers to get through it all now, in the first series there were nine home runs hit in three games which back then was a lot I mean if you had eight or nine home runs you led the league so they, they actually physically tore down the porch of the house at the north end of the property to move the wall back to make a, additional room down the foul line well I don't know if we'll see that many home runs here today but uh, we certainly uh, love the fact that this place is turning 100 and I know you appreciate it as much as anybody we appreciate your time today thanks for stopping by right, thank you thanks for having me Ed happy, Harding, happy the, birthday you got it Ed Harding the Cubs historian. We're back with more special guests when we continue from Wrigley Field turning 100 today on WGN. Wrigley 100 is brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Ford, manufacturers of America's best-selling brand. Check out our best-selling lineup at your local Ford store or online at localfordstores.com. Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. And by Pennington Grass Seed, a part of American pastimes since 1945. Pennington, Honest Green.
Time for your feeding. Precious Salem, caught up in a stinking witch panic. If you miss the premiere of Salem... Afraid of witches? Or being taken for one? Catch an encore of the show The Hollywood Reporter calls a sexy good time. She will show us the witch. Salem, the premiere encore tonight and an all-new episode every Sunday at 10, 9 central on WGN America. Hi, everybody. It's Pat Hughes. Wrigley Field is one of the most recognizable landmarks in America and is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. Louisville Slugger, the official bat of Major League Baseball, is commemorating this milestone with the laser-engraved two-tone 34-inch full-size bat. It's lasered with the Wrigley Field 100th anniversary logo and historic ballpark facts. This bat sells for $129.95 and is limited to 5,000 individually numbered units. Call Big Time Bats now at 1-866-280-BATS. Important message for residents age 50 to 85. Write down this number now. Right now, people are receiving this free information kit for guaranteed acceptance life insurance with a rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. If you are on a fixed income, learn about affordable whole life insurance that guarantees your rate can never increase for any reason. If you did not receive your information, call this number now. Your acceptance is guaranteed with no health questions. Stand by to learn more. I'm Alex Trebek here to tell you about a popular life insurance plan with a rate lock that locks in your rate for life so it can never increase. Did you get your free information kit? If not, please call this number now. This affordable plan through the Colonial Pen Program has coverage options for just $9.95 a month. Your rate is locked in and can never go up and your acceptance is guaranteed with no health questions. See how much coverage you can get for just $9.95 a month. Call now for your free information kit. Call 1-800-867-4304 for your free information kit and guide to Social Security. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-867-4304. 1-800-867-4304. Call now. feel as we celebrate the 100th birthday of this ballpark with a guy who hit more than a few of those home runs to left field Andre Dawson Cubs Hall of Famer and I say Cubs of course because this is what we think of you as what a is Cub. It's what it's supposed to be <laughs> great to have you here Andre uh, can you imagine this place being 100 years old not even uh, but you know when you think about it so much history here and uh, today to be able to celebrate uh, the 100th birthday uh, of Wrigley Field. Uh, I, I played a small part in that, a very, very small part, and I'm just uh, thankful and feel honored that the organization extended that invitation to me to come back and help celebrate. Well, uh, I think more than a small part. Uh, <laughs> MVP in 1987 hit the 49 homers, and, and as a guy who played right field, I mean, you were right there in the middle of it with those bleacher fans out there yelling at you, yelling support every single day. I mean, that must have been so much fun to go out there. That was extra special. They actually pretty much rejuvenated the second half of my career, made the game so much more enjoyable, a lot of fun on a daily basis, and uh, just to go out there knowing that I was going to get a warm reception day in and day out I just look forward to getting to the ballpark and then and, and being able to perform every day well you have many honors not the least of which is your Hall of Fame honor and it's great to have you back in the ballpark today oh well, thank you very much and uh, I just hope everybody is going to enjoy this as much as I will and again uh, happy birthday Rick and <laughs> all right Andre thanks so much we appreciate yeah. your time Andre Dawson joining us here Historic moments at the friendly confines. There have been plenty of them, and we'll discuss when we continue in just a moment. I have back pain. I have disc problems. Back pain doesn't have to limit your life. Get the DDS 500 with no out-of-pocket cost to you with Medicare and other major insurance. The only patented back support that provides adjustable traction, the DDS 500 easily adjusts to your comfort level and fits discreetly under clothes. Call Allied Home Medical at 1-800-230-6099. We don't want to miss any of this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Humans. Sometimes life trips us up. Sometimes we trip ourselves up. And although the mistakes may seem to just keep coming at you, so do the solutions. Like multi-policy discounts from Liberty Mutual Insurance. Save up to 10% just for combining your auto and home insurance. Call Liberty Mutual Insurance at 1-888-432-3357 to speak with an insurance expert and ask about all the personalized savings available for when you get married, move into a new house, or add a car to your policy. Personalized coverage and savings. All the things humans need to make our world a little less imperfect. Call 1-888-432-3357 and ask about all the ways you could save. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Responsibility. What's your policy? This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 877-256-6762. That's 877-256-6762. Again, 877-256-6762. That's 877-256-6762. Welcome back to Wrigley Field. Some of the activity in the dugout is media and some of the dignitaries gathering to have a couple of conversations before the game starts and the official ceremonies begin. And as we said earlier on, uh, it wasn't just baseball here at Wrigley Field all those years. There was a lot of football played here as well, and we are here with two of the best that ever did it at Wrigley Field for the Chicago Bears, Dick Butkus and the galloping ghost, Gail Sayers. Dick, what's it like to come back to this place after all those years? I tell you what, it's, um, I always felt that, you know, Wrigley Field playing here in a baseball, supposedly stadium, playing football was what it really meant to be a pro, because a pro should be able to, should be able to play on a, in a prairie on 103rd Street somewhere. <laughs> and I just, uh, you know, it had a bunch of unique things where, the one end zone there, they had boards covering up a portion of the dugout, and our locker room down there was smaller than a, a wrestling team, I think. That hasn't changed, by the way. I guess not. So there was a lot of, uh, you know, we practiced here every day, and it, the ground would get to be like concrete, in, you know, in the winter, and then they'd have to paint it green. But it, to me, that was being a pro. Gail, you said, we were talking earlier, you said when teams came to play at Wrigley Field, they knew they were in for a whipping. They, they really did, because, you know, as Dick said, you know, small crowd, probably 45,000, and uh, most of them was on our side. Most of them was on our side. And uh, the, the, the teams that came in here, they didn't want to play us. <laughs> because they know they're going to get booed and things like that. Well, we saw the college football game here a few years ago between Illinois and Northwestern. They had to switch it around because it got a little bit too close down there with the new construction of the seats. But as you guys went from south to north in this ballpark, did you ever run anybody into that ivy? Uh, I don't, I don't think I did, you know. No, not really. Uh, what it was was in the left field and left center was the east stands and they were fairly close but uh, both both benches were on on this side uh, but no you couldn't run too many people into those things not that you wouldn't have tried to do it no, huh? I wouldn't. Uh, Gail you had one of the greatest games in, in pro football history in this place what do you remember of the day you scored six touchdowns against the Niners well I remember it because it was so muddy on that field and uh, 
uh, when I got up that morning, I, 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 I looked out the window, it was pouring down rain, and uh, I just felt that it was going to be a very, very close ball game. And when I got to the field, you know, I, I, I changed my spikes to a little longer spike, and um, ruled out there and played. And, and, and it seemed like from the, the, the first play, we were scoring touchdowns. <laughs> I bet it did. I'm telling you, it really, it really did. Yeah. And at halftime, it was 30 to nothing or whatever it was. Well, you know, what got me was is that, you know, he scored six, but we had the ball on the, like, one-yard line, and he pulls Gale out, Hallis does, pulls Gale out and puts on our net. So that's probably because you'd be asking for raises and everything right. else. Okay. No kidding. Hey, guys, we could talk all day, but we got to get going. Thanks okay. so much for stopping by Thank and you. enjoy the day. The great Thank Dick Buckus and the great Gale Sayers joining us as we celebrate Wrigley Centennial today here on WGN. Have you tried to lose weight but had no success? Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's your diet. Now, new from the weight loss experts at Nutrisystem, lose five pounds in your first week with Fast Five. I couldn't believe I saw results the first week. I'm Michelle, and I've lost 41 pounds on Nutrisystem. Fast Five gives you a special combination of foods like those you eat today, formulated to give you energy and nutrition. Plus, you'll get our all-new energizing shakes to boost your metabolism and craving crusher shakes to knock out hunger. And the best news of all, call in the next 10 minutes and you'll get Fast Five absolutely free when you order Nutrisystem My Way. It's easy, it's convenient, and boy, does it work. I'm Kathy, and I lost 70 pounds on Nutrisystem. Look at me. I feel fabulous. I have the most confidence I've ever had in my entire life. I'm Erin, and I lost 110 pounds on Nutrisystem. Call 877-220-FIN now to order Nutrisystem's My Way Weight Loss Program. Built to work with your metabolism, and we'll rush you fast five. Seven days of breakfast, lunches, dinners, energizing shakes, and craving crusher shakes. Plus, you'll get free shipping. Now that's a deal. Now when I walk into the room, I don't feel like I have to hide in a corner. I feel like I can go out and I can talk and I can be social. People say, wow, what happened to you? I'm Alice, and I lost 84 pounds on Nutrisystem. Call in the next 10 minutes and get Fast Five free with your order of Nutrisystem My Way. We'll create a plan for your metabolism. Breakfast, lunches, dinners, and desserts for less than $12 a day. I'm Michelle, and I've lost 41 pounds on Nutrisystem. Call 877-220-FIN now. It feels amazing to put on skinny jeans. When I am able to put those on and go out and start my stuff for the night, it feels amazing. You started there right out of high school, learned your trade, and did it well. And the asbestos you handled, that was just part of the job. If you or someone you know worked in the trades and has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, get the best care available, then call us. For nearly two decades, we've been fighting for people with asbestos-related diseases. Call us at 1-800-950-MESO. Mesothelioma. Don't fight it alone. Wrigley 100 has been brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Ford, manufacturers of America's best-selling brand. Check out our best-selling lineup at your local Ford store or online at localfordstores.com. Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. And by Pennington Grass Seed, a part of American pastimes since 1945. Pennington, honest green. Of course, it wasn't the Cubs. It was the Chicago Federals who christened this ballpark way back in 1914. You see a lot of those Federals jerseys around here today as we celebrate Wrigley's 100th birthday. The Northwestern Band is on the field to help in the festivities. We will send it to the leadoff man with Lennon J.D. in a moment. You're watching Cubs baseball and the Wrigley celebration on WGN. This mom was lucky that her daughter happened to stop by.
Can your mom or dad reach a phone in such an emergency? The solution is Life Alert. Life Alert saves a life from a catastrophe every 11 minutes. Linda, thank you for finding Life Alert for me. I feel much safer having it. Whenever my mother needed help, Life Alert was there. Because of Life Alert, my mother's life was saved. Life Alert definitely saved my mother-in-law's life that day. There's no doubt about it. For free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-614-2240. That's 1-800-614-2240. Call now 1-800-614-2240. For free brochure, call 1-800-614-2240. 1-800-614-2240. Attention bladder cancer victims. A jury has just ordered the makers of the diabetes drug Actos to pay $9 billion because they hid the fact that it causes bladder cancer. If you took Actos and now have bladder cancer, or if a loved one has died from bladder cancer after taking Actos, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Your time to act is quickly running out, so call us right now. Call 1-800-650-5454. That's 1-800-650-5454. I need fans put up. I need lights put up. Who's going to do that? Now there's HomeAdvisor.com, a free service that matches your home project with top local service professionals. We got everything from HomeAdvisor. Electricians, plumbers, handymen. You get to read the customer reviews of all of your neighbors. And you know that the companies that are on there have already been screened, and so you, ha you already have that confidence going in. And HomeAdvisor is always free. Go to HomeAdvisor.com now. HomeAdvisor. On Rules of Engagement, comedy rules. Is there smoking allowed in here? Is someone smoking? You are. <laughs> rules of Engagement, tonight at 8 on WGN America. History being made today. It is the 100th birthday of Wrigley Field. It started out as Weekman Park back on this date in 1914. Throwback uniforms, lots of pop and circumstance. We'll have all the pregame festivities. It's the Hyundai leadoff man. Great to have you with us. Beautiful day. It's cold, but the sun is out. It's going to be dry, and we're looking forward to it. Jim Deshays and Len Casper. And this is just great to be here. I'd say it feels like opening day, but I think it's bigger than that. Yeah, big birthday celebration. we got marching bands. We've got the commissioner. We've got Hall of Famers from the Cubs and the Bears. Should be a lot of fun today. And the Cubs have won two in a row. Yes, that's the Shy Feds today as they'll take on the Kansas City Packers. And the Hyundai leadoff man is brought to you by your Chicago and Northwest Indiana Hyundai dealers who invite you to come test drive the all-new Hyundai Santa Fe. Visit MyHyundaiChicago.com. You don't belong here. Neither do you. Get out of Salem, or you will hang. She's not our enemy. She's just a girl. They are all our enemy. Witches are real, and they are here in Salem. Salem, all new, Sunday at 10, 9 central on WGN America. Life with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis is a daily game of what ifs. What if my abdominal pain and cramps end our night before it even starts? What if I eat the wrong thing? What if? What if I suddenly have to go? What if? But what if the most important question is the one you're not asking? What if the underlying cause of your symptoms is damaging inflammation? For help getting the answers you need, talk to your doctor and visit Crohn'sAndColitisAdvocates.com to connect with a patient advocate from AbbVie for one-to-one -one support and education. What is this? What's going on? Well, <laughs> where have you been? I was inside. Uh, it was nothing. No yard, no grill. It was just white and cold. It was winter, buddy. Just winter. Huh. Somebody get this man a burger! Winter's over. It's time to come out and grill. Kick off grilling season with tips and techniques at grilling.com. How do you want to feel this spring? Confident. Optimistic. Dazzling. Fierce. Radiant. 
Spring is the time to make it happen with the new Special K Simple 5 plan. No counting, no keeping track. Just make five smart choices every day and lose up to five pounds in two weeks. Fabulous. Get started at specialk.com. The Hyundai Leadoff Man, brought to you by your Chicago and Northwest Indiana Hyundai dealers, who invite you to come in and test drive our award-winning lineup today. Visit buyhyundai.com. Wade Miley and Jeff Samarja today, and we go back to Wiegman Park's first game back in 1914. The quote from the... J.G. Davis in the Chicago Tribune, the wonderful setting for yesterday's combat brought the thought that someone must have rubbed Aladdin's lamp to effect such a magical transformation. We're set for baseball coming up. The leadoff man continues on WGN. Huh. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that. Well, did you know that game show hosts should only host game shows? Samantha, do you take Kevin as your lawfully wedded husband? Or would you rather have a new car? Say hello to the season's hottest convertible to L and say goodbye to Samantha. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Ladies, one sugar, one cream, one cream, no sugar. Yes. Black, no cream, one sugar, with a bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles. Why does she get a McGriddles? That's the way she takes her coffee. McDonald's Fresh Brewed McCafe Coffee and the Epic Bacon, Egg, and Cheese McGriddles. They're great apart, but amazing together. So how do you take yours? And that's why she's captain. Really? Really. There's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. They evacuated us so quickly. It was not a natural disaster. You're hiding something out there. And I have a right to know. Godzilla. Experience it in IMAX 3D. Rated PG-13. Terrible. I know how to make you feel better. So what do you think? I'm pretty sure that's not how they're made. Klondike ice cream meets candy bar. The best ice cream bar ever conceived. The Hyundai Leadoff Man, brought to you by your Chicago and Northwest Indiana Hyundai dealers, who invite you to come in and test drive our award-winning lineup today. Visit buyhyundai.com. Wiegman Park, 1914 to 1919. Then Cubs Park from 1920 to 26. It has been Wrigley Field ever since, turning 100 years old today. Happy birthday, Wrigley.
knockout, a National League record. They're mobbing Kerry Wood at the mound. Something special for you every night of the week. It's Golden Corral's new weeknight dinner spotlights. Monday night, it's nonstop shrimp and seafood. Tuesday is $2.99 Kids Night. Wednesday night is Wing Fest. That's right, endless wings. And Thursday night is our best of barbecue. And it's only at Golden Corral. Life with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis is a daily game of what ifs. What if my abdominal pain and cramps come back? What if the plane gets delayed? What if I can't hide my symptoms? What if... But what if the most important question is the one you're not asking? What if the underlying cause of your symptoms is damaging inflammation? For help getting the answers you need, talk to your doctor and visit Crohn'sAndColitisInfo.com to get your complimentary Q&A book with information from experts on your condition. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the Health Hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 877-256-6762. That's 877-256-6762. Again, 877-256-6762. That's 877-256-6762. I think the biggest value of TrueCar was that it gave me, you know, confidence to buy my very first car and to walk out of that dealership and know that I got a good deal. Save time, save money, and never overpay. Visit TrueCar.com. Your favorite rule breaker. You can't do that. I can't? I just did. Is on WGN America. Watch Rules of Engagement tonight at 8.